Okay, so this is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. And I know that the first thing that you guys saw when you opened the video was this insane stone count. 10,751 stones. I have never in my entire life, in my entire Dokkan career, since I started playing six plus years ago, seen that many stones on one of my accounts. I mean, I've seen it in like Truth videos, I've seen it in maybe Goresh's videos, I'm not sure, but either way, uh, never for one of my accounts have I seen that many stones or anywhere close to it. So what happened was that uh, last night I got contacted by a subscriber and he was like, yo Tiger, with the anniversary coming, I want to see you do some summons. I know that you don't play JP too much. You're a global main, but I do have a JP account you can use. So do you want it? And I was like, sure, okay, I'll take you a free account. Why not, right? And I was fully expecting it to have like, I don't know, 500, 1,000 stones, maybe a couple of thousand at most. So he sent over the details and I transferred it over. <laughs> and uh, you can imagine my face. When I saw it had 10,751 stones. So a big shout out and thank you to that subscriber. They didn't actually want a shout out, which is kind of interesting, but nonetheless, thank you so much for your generosity. And uh, we got a lot of stones to play with. And this is probably gonna be my new JP main account, I guess, because my old account is not the best and uh, there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential here. Okay, so with all that said, with all that said, let's uh, do some summons, guys. We got the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta banner and also the GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner. And obviously, I need basically everything on both banners for this account. So why don't we just start with the... Let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. I do think between the two, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is a little bit more hype. A little bit more hype. So, first multi, I'm going to pull down here. Feel free to jump in for a group summon right now, guys. I know that a lot of you guys are still summoning. A lot of you guys are still trying to get both of these absolutely insane units. So, if you still need them, then pop into a multi right now. We're going to pull them together in 3, 2, 1. Let it rip. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I know that some people watching this video right now are probably a little concerned. You know, I've been a global main my entire life. I have always stuck by the global players. And recently, I'm not going to name any names. Not going to name any names. But recently, there's been some longtime global creators that have been, let's say, defecting to the JP side. And a big part of that is obviously the anniversary, but another maybe even bigger part of that is the fact that uh, JP Dokkan is now available in, you know, iOS stores and Android stores, or I guess Google Play stores globally, right? So it's much easier for mobile players to acquire JP Dokkan without having to like create a JP uh, iTunes account or you know get Kuap. Wait, hold on. Is Kuap still available? Because I remember people saying like rest in peace Kuap, but I think they're only saying that because JP Dokkan is available, you know, in like global iOS stores now, or rather uh, Google Play stores. Anyways, the point is, the point is people are defecting, and I will just say it right now. I'm always gonna be a global main for as long as I make Dokkan videos, okay? Even if I start making more JP videos, which is definitely a possibility, right? I'm not gonna discount that. It's definitely possible. I'm never gonna let global like die on this channel, okay? Because it's just been too long. I'm committed. It's been six plus years of global mainness, right? And uh, I'm just loyal like that, you know? I'm just loyal like that. So, yo, global mains, my global players out there, don't worry, okay? Just because we're doing summons on JP, just because you might see some more JP-related videos, especially with this crazy account that I got, 
uh, I'm not leaving you guys. I'm not leaving you guys. Okay, so with that said, with that said, let's focus on the summons, which have honestly been really, really awful. <laughs> These banners are great, of course, right? These banners are awesome, but the summons so far have been atrocious. Okay, so let me just take a quick look at the scouter, because uh, I don't think I had a chance actually to look at all the featured units. So we got the new LR, we got the uh, Go Tanks and Piccolo, got the Gamma, okay, the other Gamma, of course, on the other banner. LR Final Form Cooler, LR Full Power Frieza, Hell Heart God Goku and Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. We got the STR uh, Blue Gogeta, who is probably going to be getting Extreme Z Awakening with this celebration. We got the STR Vegito, and then uh, GT Vegeta as the last featured SSR. So, yeah, amazing banner, guys. Really, really busted banner. But if you have bad, ooh, I was gonna say if you have bad luck, it doesn't matter. But we just, we just got some hope. Just got some hope. My riding trunks animation, guaranteed featured Dokkan Fest unit. Let's go. Let's go. The base form is interesting. I'm expecting a screen crack, most likely. Eddie's. Panties, okay, okay, my riding trunks into panties. It's a good sign. That's a good sign. Here we go. I mean, at this point, any featured pull actually would be great for me, so I wouldn't be upset with anything. That was probably one of the worst options, <laughs> but still a good unit. Still a good unit, so there you go, guys. First featured, first SSR pull, or I guess non guaranteed SSR pull. LR, Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution Vegeta. Is he gonna get an Extreme Z Awakening with this celebration is the question. I don't, ooh, we got two. We got two, okay, SSB and Vegito. That's actually a really good multi. So two Dokkan Fest LRs, uh, I'll take that, I'll take that. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, man, is, is he gonna get an Extreme Z Awakening along with the UI Goku? I feel like it's a little bit early. I feel like it's a little bit early. Um, I wouldn't be like totally shocked if they did get one, but at this point, the only one that's like guaranteed, in my opinion, is the uh, is the, ooh Vegito Blue is the fifth anniversary Dual Dual Confest LRs, right? So that would be the uh, Tech Vegito and the SDR Gogeta. That's a that's a guarantee. There's no chance those guys don't get Extreme Z Awakenings. Yo, this is my main JP account, man. <laughs> this is... This is definitely the main JP account. <laughs> that was too easy. That was too easy. I feel like Dokkan's... I feel, I feel like Bandai's trying to tell me something. I feel like... I feel like Bandai's trying to tell me something. I think they want me to play JP, guys. <laughs> Global players, I'm sorry. I take back what I said. No, I don't. I don't, I'm loyal, I'm just kidding. But it's been a while since Global has treated me this nice, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've been able to pull, let alone a new, like, Dokkan Fest LR, right? Just any new unit, oh my god, and a Super Saiyan Goku. And LR Super Saiyan Goku. What else? Yo, what else is in this multi? What else is in this multi? There's gonna be three. No, there isn't. Okay, still. <sighs> back to back multis with double Dokkan Fest LRs and, and, and not just Dokkan Fest LRs, man. Not just Dokkan Fest LRs. We got one of the new anniversary LRs already. You got the GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, JP has, or sorry, Global, Global has been so awful <laughs> over the last six months. Um, between, like, you know, legendary summons and Dokkan Fest banners and dual Dokkan Fest and whatever, it's just been, like, such a 
bad streak of luck, man. Um, I eventually did get the uh, Orange Piccolo and the Beast Gohan. Beast Gohan, who is honestly like pretty disappointing. But um, yeah, before that, yo, I think I went like six straight banners without pulling a single new unit, which was just really bad. Um, but JP was like, yo, we're here for you, man. We're welcoming you in. I can't even talk. We're welcoming you. No, we're welcoming you in. That's what I'm trying to say. We're welcoming you in. <sighs> can't forget it. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, man. Yo, JP is being a lot more welcoming than, than Global has been as of the last, you know, X amount of months. So, my point is, my point is, I got some thinking to do. I got some thinking to do. Okay, so I saw Whis flying in. It's been such a long time since we got the Whis Rewind or any kind of like guaranteed unit animation. Uh, obviously, didn't happen there. I'm not surprised, right? Very rare animation, nonetheless, but it'd be really cool, man. It'd be really, really cool to see, uh, you know, uh, a Goku Black Rift or a Whis Rewind or even a Zeno. I haven't seen those guys in a while. So one of the three would be pretty awesome. So that is a full round, I believe. On Oh, no, we still got the free multi. Still got the free multi. This is crazy. So I think in this video, I'm going to do two rounds per per banner yeah I'm gonna do two rounds per banner see what happens and then we'll probably do a stream I'm feeling a stream either tomorrow or the day after so you guys can look forward to that and uh yo with so many stones I don't even know what to do really like I was thinking maybe I can do like a daily short you know like a daily short of oh yeah for a second I didn't recognize those guys I was like what what is that Okay, Krillin and, and Gohan, which banner are they from? Which banner is that unit from? Because I did not get them on global. I know that for a fact. Anyways, um, yeah, I was thinking maybe like I can do like a daily short, right? Like a one minute video of me doing a quick, uh, quick round on one of the banners. And, uh, you know, just like use up some of these stones or I could save the stones, I guess, for future banners. That's also probably a smart thing to do, but you know, all these stones are just like burning a hole in my Dokkan wallet, <laughs> you know, like, yo, know, this is why I can never, well, let's go, LR final form cooler, let's go. Um, Yo, this is why I can never have stones on, on on global, man. Like, if you see my global account, I'm always at, like, 50 stones or less. Because every single time I have enough stones to do a multi, I gotta do it. I have I have a problem. You know, like, I can never save. And uh, I wish I had that kind of self-control. I just don't. It's just not in the cards for me. So, um, yeah, I feel like there's a decent chance that by the end of this anniversary, <laughs> there'll be zero stones on this account. But hopefully within those summons, you know, within like those 10k plus stone summons, we we actually, you know, managed to rainbow maybe a couple of these LRs. There's of course the part 2 LRs. I don't know what they're going to do this year. Maybe part 3 LRs. Part 2 I think is like pretty likely to be, you know, uh, Kid Buu and Omega Shenron, right? That would make sense given the part 1 LRs. And that would mean we finally get an LR Kid Buu, which would be amazing. That would be awesome. It's been a long time coming. It's way overdue, let's be honest. Way, way overdue for us to get an LR Kid Buu, considering that like all the other major villains from Dragon Ball Z have received, you know, multiple uh, LRs at this point, right? Kid Buu did get the Dokkan Fest one. But never an LR Kid Buu just blows my mind, especially considering he's the final villain of Dragon Ball Z, right? And this is Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. It just made no sense. It made no sense. All right, Vegito Fusion. Let's get both, man. Let's get both. I really want to walk away with 
at least one copy of each. We're already done with the GT boys. All right, so we just need these Super Saiyan boys. And uh, then we're chilling. Then, then after that, everything else is just gravy. Okay, all right, another <laughs> SSB. Duke number one. Okay, dupe number two. Why though? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the game heard me saying that that's like one of the worst possible options on Spanner. And now they're just gonna give me all the SSB Vegeta's, man. I know, I know, I know how they operate. I know how this works. They probably put something in their code that's like, hey, if there's something. A player doesn't want we're just gonna keep giving it to them it's, it's like a it's like banna's way of trolling you you know uh super saiyan god okay three ssrs on the way three plus three plus can one of them be the new lr or even a featured unit actually because usually when i guess we're saying gods on dope office banners they're like trash unfeatured units like uh well, actually, Janembu is not trash anymore, but I don't really have the units on this account right now to build any kind of, um, you know, heroes team or anything like that. Uh, Tapion's good. Tapion's good, actually. Great tank. I'll take that. And STR Beerus, who is a prime candidate for the double Extremes the Awakening, by the way. I don't know if uh, you guys heard, but I believe they did mention recently that... Ooh, Herculambu! Herculambu! Yeah, they did mention recently, I believe, in a stream or a video or something like that, where they were considering or maybe talking about in the future uh, doing like a second awakening to older Extreme Z awakenings, like the STR Beerus that we just pulled, or, you know, some of the OG guys like uh, HL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who, you know, is very, very outdated. Um, oh, oh, how can I forget? Esther Gogeta. How can I forget? AGL Kid Boo. <laughs> AGL Kid Boo was trash from day one. Okay, his Extreme Z Awakening was never good. It's crazy to think that back in the day, I mean, like these days, we're a little spoiled. Ooh! I love our God boys. I love our God boys. All right, that's one of the two seventh anniversary LRs. I just need the LRs per se fours. And we're set there. That's huge. Um, but yeah, like, what was I saying again? <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I got completely sidetracked by the pull. I just lost my train of thought. Mm, man, how can I just forget? Like, it's. It was like a half second that I got distracted and I just completely lost it. Um, okay, it'll come back to me. <laughs> it'll come back to me. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, were we talking about double Extreme Z Awakenings and oh, like how like Extreme Z Awakenings these days? I mean, like there's still some variants, like some are still a lot better than others, but for the most part, Extreme Z Awakenings these days are very good, right? Extreme Z Awakenings these days are all major improvements. Um, but yo, HL Kid Boo and like some Extreme Z Awakenings that were coming out around that time were legitimately like just awful. And he was actually never considered to be good. I don't think like, I mean, maybe I'm just misremembering. Maybe, you know, it's like hindsight or whatever. But I don't think anybody ever considered AGL Kid Boo to be a good Extreme Z Awakening. You know what I mean? So, yeah, <laughs> it's just wild. The thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do two more multis here. This is gonna be our second last multi, and then we got the free one, and then that's gonna be it. That's gonna that's gonna do it for today. Um, we did get the I think Goten and Trunks, so featured unit most likely on the way. Maybe Super Saiyan three and Super Saiyan Super Saiyan two. Goku and Vegeta, possibly. Come on. Okay, interesting. Making us wait. Oh, another LR Final Form Cooler. I'm not mad about that. I am not mad about that. This is this guy, like, on Global right now is still one of my favorite 
units period to use you know um so okay we'll take it we'll take that we do take those okay come on last multi Petita. fuse <sighs> okay okay so this last multi is looking a little uh questionable to say the least um you know i feel like it's gonna be trash to be honest yeah i wasn't getting a good vibe from that i was not getting a good vibe from that so we're just gonna jump into another round here <laughs> i told myself it was gonna be four rounds um but we got so many stones a fifth one can't hurt right a, f a fifth a fifth round can't possibly be that bad maybe i mean look the worst the worst thing that could happen is we get completely shafted on this round right and what i still have 10k stones so i think we'll live <laughs> i think we'll live fizz shin 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 is sin shenron okay three more multis I gotta quickly actually find some new music because I didn't think this video would go longer than 20 minutes. Okay, so why don't we put on the... Hmm, what's an OST I haven't listened to in a long time? Let's put on... Uh... Ooh, ooh I know, I know. LR... Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. There it is. Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. Still one of my favorite OSTs uh, in the entire game right now. And uh, I think it might actually help us pull this unit because it's actually very on brand. I didn't even realize actually. It's, it's very on theme for the unit we're trying to pull at this time. So let's get it. Let's get it. Three more multis. Sorry, two more multis. Two more multis. It feels like this this round might have been a mistake, but it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. Okay, we're gonna go blue here. Okay, we don't go blue, but it's kind of the same thing because there's only like one or maybe two non-LR featured units, I think, or maybe three. But there's more featured LRs, basically, than non-LRs, so... Yeah, it doesn't make that much of a difference if we get Vegito Blue or Super Vegito, right? So, yeah, the fusion is good. The fusion is good. And it's gonna bring us... Gamma 1! Yo! I, I cannot tell you how good it feels to finally pull this guy. Okay, because, yo, on Global, I dropped so many stones for him and Gamma 2, and I never pulled a single copy. That was part of my, like, super duper despair arc dry spell that I went through on Global. So, to pull a copy here just makes me love this account even more, man. It really does. Ooh, another combo. Okay, we're going to finish off on a combo. We're going to finish off on a fusion. It's going to go blue. It doesn't. doesn't matter. Well, I guess now it could be another, like, Gamma or GT Vegeta. Um, I guess that's it. No, it's just those two. Those those are the only two non-LR options, I think. Anyways, I'm not going to think anymore. We're just going to let it play out. We're just going to let the game do its thing. And hopefully that... <laughs> I got excited for a second, man, because I knew it was Goku and Vegeta. I just, you know, uh, didn't realize for a second that it wasn't the new one, right? Because they look different. Um, but okay, okay, wait a minute, we're, we're, we're getting closer. <laughs> we're, we're getting Goku and Vegeta. What is up with all the doubles, man? Yo, that's the second time. I mean, I mean, if we're talking about double LR multis, actually, that's like the fourth time. What? This is the second time we pulled double of the same LR in the same multi. So, uh... 
yeah, we do take those. We do take those. I mean, it's not as exciting as pulling the new LR, but nonetheless, it's it's pretty big. It's pretty big. I mean, these guys are are still literally last year's LRs. So, um. Yeah, they're still very good. <laughs> they're still very, very good. So we take that and I guess we're going to call it there. A uh, quick look at the uh, results here. Acquired SSR. Um, very solid. Very, very solid pulls as a whole. We got three LR gods. We got a Gamma 1. We got two uh lr final form coolers right we got uh of course these guys right here the main main prize of this video by far and then uh, we also have let me just quickly look at this art for the vegeta here that's so dope <laughs> that's so freaking clean uh yeah dude dude <laughs> That's crazy. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we got that. And um, aside from that, yeah, we got LR Super Saiyan Goku. We got the Vegeta. We got three SSBs, actually. I think it's two Gogetas. And um, yeah, just like good results, man. I can't complain. I, I really, really can't complain. So, I'm going to go work on these guys for the time being and then you'll definitely see me back with another summoning video either tomorrow or uh, it's gonna be tomorrow it's gonna be tomorrow i was gonna say or another time but like given my summoning problems i'm gonna have to summon more so <laughs> stay tuned you guys thank you for watching and uh as always good luck on your summons i hope you guys are absolutely crushing it absolutely pulling fire and uh you know, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.